their candidate uh, Nelson Chamisa failed and uh, because he's a puppet of the West and uh, he's nowhere to be found so Nelson Chamisa is being financed by the West to destabilize um, the economic progress in Zimbabwe and of course uh, there are people who are uh, there are people who are sponsoring hashtags on social media that uh, uh, and um, and the zero PF ha are illegitimate in that country and they should be overthrown but I believe um, Zimbabwe is a country that does not need to be lectured on issues politics on issues economy on issues on its internal issues because the people they understand um their their progress their processes and their democracy better than anybody else and i believe uh, that um, the united states and um, the other western countries have been spewing their imperialism on Africans and they have at least decided to meddle with any election, any African election and um, they have at least sponsored one of their candidates there. For the 2023 elections that um, um, many people uh, believe that uh, the elections were shambolic and uh, this is after many um, this is after um, many people including um, the SADC, um, the SAD, the, uh, the United Nations, the African Union and other trade blocs, the European Union and others wrote a report that the elections were not free and fair. But after a close um, and thorough introspection, I've come to realize that these are reports that are made to destabilize the region so that the region goes into chaos so uh, that um, the region, so that uh, these um, trade blocks and, and organization will come there and pretend to be helping Zimbabwe but in real sense they are destabilizing it more. Zimbabwe is a country that um, showed a lot of progress in the initial um, ruling of the ZANU-PF but after the sanctions that were made by the United States against it uh, Zimbabwe has never been the same again Zimbabwe um, um, Zimbabwe is being fought by the Western nations because it's at the central uh, oh, it actually uh, thinks of joining BRICS the, um, regardless of the poor economy that uh, um, experienced in Zimbabwe Zimbabwe it's um, at the center of uh, decisions of joining BRICS and um, the United States and uh, the Western countries do not like that. They don't want any other African country to join BRICS because this is a disaster for the Western nations. But now, 